especially that those boots Ooh, just pray for the boots because they're about to get ran down hey girl what's up and welcome back to another video and if you're new here my name is dana i love all things fashion beauty and lifestyle if that's something that you're into if you love those things as well definitely hit that subscribe button down below if you're not new here and you've been watching my vlogs i complain a lot about my closet and needing basics and needing pieces i feel like i'm always going through this never ending cycle of trying to get my wardrobe together but we're getting there i have for the past few weeks been shopping <laughs> i've been shopping but i've been intentionally shopping and i've been going for more of an elevated look i want to get my wardrobe together put more effort into my looks even if i'm just going to the grocery store i just feel like with the amount of clothes that i have and just how much i love to dress up every day is a fashion show okay <laughs> So spring is here and I am so excited for spring. I'm excited for the warm weather or better weather. It just snowed yesterday. It's raining right now. <laughs> but I'm just excited to have a little bit of warmer weather. As long as it is a little bit warmer than what it was before, I'm glad. Okay, not to mention seasonal depression slowly leaving the premises. And most importantly, just I'm ready for the looks. Of course so in today's video we're gonna be focusing on upgrading elevating and refreshing our wardrobe and I'm so excited to be partnering with Nordstrom on this video so I just want to say a huge thank you to Nordstrom for partnering with me to show my girls some pieces y'all I got some fire pieces and I'm so excited to show you guys you guys really love the fashion content so I mean I'm really glad to be filming this video this is just really me in my element I love everything that has to do with putting looks together and just feeling just feeling good about myself and for me that starts with a really good fit I know most of the girlies know what Nordstrom is but if you don't know Nordstrom is basically a one-stop shop when it comes to upgrading your wardrobe or refreshing or you just for everything girl no matter the season beauty fashion fragrance home they have everything and it's just I love a one-stop shop because I could just go into one store or online and just shop all categories and find some stuff at a really good great prices and also a really good quality heavy on the really good quality my favorite part about it is they have both high and low brands i am a sucker for mixing and matching high and low pieces okay i don't feel like you need to spend a lot on your entire look they carry tons of brands with a good quality transitional pieces i have to emphasize the good quality because ciao that's all I care about nowadays. As I've gotten older, I just, I need good quality clothing, girl. Is it gonna make it through one wash cycle? Can I wear it in black? <laughs> Whether you're a girly girl, tomboy, you're on your old money, your old money era, you're on your mob wife, you know, you're focusing on your elevated casual. I know elevated casual is such a trendy term right now. Nordstrom, first of all, is perfect for that. I got some pieces for that. I'm actually still trying to find my personal style and making sure that as I add on to my wardrobe that these pieces can actually be carried through the seasons because of the quality I want you know something that could take me through spring summer winter fall or even if it doesn't go through all four at least two or three of the seasons you know what I mean one thing I do also want to mention that I think is super exciting is Nordstrom is also launching a new campaign this is called the closer to you campaign which includes everything from operations to merchandising it's deeper than just buying a piece of clothing I mean hence the name closer to you this is focuses on just making everything more accessible to the customers from pickups online orders or just in-store shopping they definitely want to make sure that you are making the perfect purchase every time by providing tailors now at almost every Nordstrom location which I think is for me I need that okay that is so important for me I am a petite girl I'm five feet almost everything I buy specifically pants needs to be tailored if it doesn't fit how I want it to or just fit in a flattering way then it's not perfect and then I have to find a tailor to perfect that and that also means that they will be bringing styling services closer to their customers whether it's online digital styling in store by providing access to personal stylists so I think that is just amazing that just actually made me love Nordstrom a lot more than I already did so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the pieces that I got. Yeah, we're actually going to start off with what I'm wearing. I got this ribbed knit long sleeve scoop neck top, which I really love. I need some basics in my wardrobe so you cannot go wrong with any neutral colored tops, t-shirts, long sleeves, tanks, all the bodysuits. 
and I decided to get this cream color it's like an off-white because I have no off-white shirt to my wardrobe so I got this this is from the brand open edit this brand is actually from Nordstrom so this is Nordstrom's brand open edit and I love this the quality on this is so it's so thick girl it is so thick and super stretchy and it's just super nice as you can see i'm gonna show you guys how i style all the pieces as well they had so many colors they have black gray green i think purple they have at least six colors in this so i actually styled this with a pair of jeans so for this personally i feel like this with just a pair of jeans and some sneakers and a coat or a bag a coat you could just throw in whatever color again because it's neutral if you want to do a pop of color for a coat you can but yeah this with a pair of jeans and a pair of sneakers i'm just gonna pair these with my adidas sambas and my everyday Aaron bag and it's such a cute fit just throw on some shades and you're good pretty sure i got this in a double extra small but i will have all the sizes down below the next item i got is this jacket first of all right now brown is my color i love brown if you can tell i love brown okay this is a moto jacket i actually i have like one little leather crop leather jacket but i don't have any moto jackets and i mean if you haven't been seeing moto jackets are on trend right now they've been on trend for a little while now for quite some time now but i i i never you know i never hopped on the train i finally did and i'm so glad i picked out this jacket this jacket is from a brand called lioness i got this in an extra small and it fits perfectly i also love that the sleeves zip down so if i want a little bit more room but this size is perfect I actually was thinking if I should get a small, but I know for the fit of a moto jacket, you kind of want it to be a little bit more fit into your body. I mean, actually, to each his own. If you want it more baggy, I personally wanted it a little bit more fitted to my body, so I got an extra small, and I'm glad I got the extra small because I still have some room in it, and it fits so nicely. So I'm just going to style this with a pair of jeans, a white tank, and I can do sneakers or I can do some heels. I would actually love to pair this with some brown boots. I a brown bag some brown boots or something like that but of course we know you can never go wrong with black so i'm actually going to style them with these boots that i got from nordstrom do you see these boots oh my goodness i've actually already worn these i shouldn't do that they're a little dirty i wore these yesterday do you see this boot girl and my favorite part is one the vamp isn't high nor is the heel like i love obviously a nice stiletto heel high heel boot but can I walk in it? Can I wear it out? I want to be able to walk in my shoes. Okay, I want to be comfortable. I'm really, really glad that I got these. Uh, these are from Jeffrey Campbell. And I got these, I believe, in a size 5 or 5 and a half. Let's see, what size did I get? I don't know. I think I got these in a size 5. I'm going to put them down below. I actually, crazy, because obviously, you know, I knew I wanted this coat. Jeffrey Campbell has, they have so many Jeffrey Campbell boots. I didn't know Jeffrey Campbell had all these boots like that. There were so many different styles. And initially, I actually had a brown pair picked out because I said I want some brown in my wardrobe. And I had planned to style those brown boots with the jacket. But it sold out as it was in my cart. So I was like, you know what, let me find something else. It's like they have the best boots. From what I've seen on Nordstrom, they have the best. That's not going to break the bank because these actually were not that expensive. And they had a nice, a nice little discount on top of that. So, yeah. They're super comfortable. You know, sometimes you want to switch up the style. and These are pointy, but as you can see, as it goes into a triangle, the top is actually a little square, which I like. It's different from all the other boots that I have because all I have are super pointed toe boots. I, I know it's such a small detail, but a lot of times with putting together outfits and if you're going for a certain vibe it's all in the details so just this little square toe right here kind of gives off more of that like more mature vibe and the quality is also amazing i love me a nice shiny boot the brown boots are still on my radar so as soon as those restock i i want them <laughs> I want those for sure. Okay. Uh, like I was saying, y'all, I'm adding pieces into my wardrobe that I don't really have. I don't have the moto jacket. I didn't have, a pair, which is crazy. I didn't have a pair of knee-high black boots. I just got another pair, but they're like the gator boot with the extra fabric. But I, I didn't have, how you don't have this in your wardrobe, girl? A, a simple black boot. So as you can see, we really needed those. And then I also have not purchased 
any new sunglasses in a while and I kind of I'm I'm very simple when it comes to my accessories I feel like I rotate them and reuse them a lot for different looks but I mean spring is here right we need a nice pair of sunglasses so I got my first pair of Desi sunglasses if you don't know Desi Perkins she's a content creator OG youtuber and she's just killing it right now with her sunglasses brand I follow her so I've just been I've just been seeing it I know she also just came out with a collab with Monet which I actually also saw on Nordstrom's website when I was shopping for my items for this video and I wasn't really sure on which sunglasses to get and I actually had a different pair in my cart and it sold out listen if you want something on Nordstrom just get it because about three things something else actually i showed you i got instead of something else but there's it, their stuff be selling quick you guys so if you want something act on it don't wait too long because yeah but in this case i think this one just happened for a reason because the one that i ended up getting was more of the safe option i'm very nervous about oversized glasses but listen these look so good on me and i'm shocked because big glasses don't really aren't really my vibe these are just a statement glasses like you could be wearing a hoodie or a tracksuit. You put this on, you're good. You're literally good. They're oversized, but they're not too oversized, which I'm so glad about. Every time I try to be that super oversized glasses girl, I go into the store and I try them on, I look crazy. And whoever's working there, they, you know, they see that I keep trying to try on these oversized glasses and they're just like, I don't really think that's your style. <laughs> And they would just tell me girl i don't think those like these super oversized vibes are for you you're more of a smaller glasses and i'm just like mm. but i had to accept it but i like these because these are still oversized but they're not i don't know these look good on me i get to have this still oversized frame look but it's not doing the most i'm actually about to go on a trip like tomorrow so and these love these i'm actually gonna throw these on with the outfit that i just showed you guys with the jacket i love that also pretty much everything i got i can be worn together again and that's the that's what we want that's what i want moving forward in my wardrobe i need my pieces to i need them to carry me through girl the year at least <laughs> all right so the next item i got are a pair of denim listen in almost every haul i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be showing you all some denim because my denim collection was weak it was really weak and I knew it was weak because I didn't even own a pair of black jeans like how do you not even own a pair of black jeans girl what's going on what is what's going on I don't know okay but yeah so I got me a pair of black jeans I got these from good American why didn't you guys tell me that good American had some bomb denim I'm late to the party of course I've seen people show it's not like i've never seen outfits with good american denim but it's like i didn't know how good the jeans were and not even how good how many variations of styles that they have i was overwhelmed on nordstrom's website in a good way i was like damn i have all these options like wow for denim like oh my goodness i actually did again have a different style in mind and i was so hesitant on these ones because these uh, remember i'm a petite girl so anything wide you see this but i love these i love these so these are the good american girl they have so many different styles and i took the tag off i'll have it down below but i believe these are the good american relaxed wide leg jeans listen these are wide but again with where i'm going with my wardrobe and my style and just dressing a little bit differently a little bit more modest Heavy on the modest as well. I definitely have been wanting to dress a lot more modest. I feel like as I'm getting older, I don't I don't always want to show cleavage. You know, when I was younger and I, I felt like I was a hot girl and, you know, I want to show a little cleavage. Which is, there's nothing wrong with that. But even still, that's not to say y'all are never going to see me show cleavage again. But as I've gotten older, it's not everyday cleavage. It's not every night out cleavage. Less is more. And... I want to focus more on the details of my outfit and less of revealing. I want to feel sexier by actually putting together an outfit and the details and how good that shit looks together rather than trying to look good by showing more skin. Your style changes and I just feel like nothing sexier than being all the way covered up and still looking sexy. Like, that's a flex. So I definitely want to focus on that. 
so how I styled this actually is I styled this with this black top it's super covered up you don't even really see my collarbones but I just love this so the only thing with this is um, this is too big it is already relaxed and wide leg I already knew the legs were gonna be you know too long and too wide but the waist is actually really big as well I will say with the good American sizes reading the reviews or low just be mindful of the sizing and try to get something as close to your size um, because I'm typically a size 2 and these are a 2 or a 26 and the waist is really big also your girl's waist has been shrinking what I've been doing as of recently has really been working I don't know what's going on but I'm happy so I'm not complaining I do need to get a tailor to really just make these fit and I'm yeah, I'm so excited for this outfit. I actually have three ways I wanted to style this. I'm not too sure. Maybe y'all can help me. Um, instead of just showing one, I'm going to show you guys actually what three. I don't know which one to pick for this video, so let me know how you would wear it. But yeah, I love these. If I want to do all black and a pop of color, we have this red bag. And I would wear some red oversized earrings. Sorry, red. Gold earrings, of course. We need a statement earring. I love me, y'all know I love me, a statement earring. It's, you know, a pop of red, super calm, and then I would do either some black pumps or these black boots, which I love. I definitely think pointed toe is the way to go with, with these type of jeans because your shoes are already covered. The little bit of detail that can be showed from the shoe would be from the front of my foot with the little, with the pointed toe. The next way I style this is if I want to do a pop of silver. So I would do the silver clutch and then I would wear my oversized silver earrings. It's pretty much just changing out the earrings in the bag to match. This is nice. And I haven't worn this silver clutch in a little minute. I have to literally hold it like this because if I don't, you don't see the look. You don't see the vision. So, but yeah, I love this. And then also if I want to just keep it super calm and do all black, then I would just do all black. I would do this all black look um, and then I mean I could either do silver or gold earrings I feel like this is safe yes if I really want to do an all black look um, I think it's a little boring which is fine I think it just depends on my mood for the day you cannot go wrong with this I like the red though I like the red and the silver more I think this is the safest option if I want to just be super but I feel like because I'm wearing all black a little pop of metallic or red just elevates the look a little bit more, especially if it's dressy. The red or the silver is actually more dressy if I'm doing like dinner or something. I think if I'm going to a brand event, then the black. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling the silver for this for some reason. I don't know. I feel like I also don't wear a lot of silver. I've been killing the gold lately, so any opportunity I get to bring out the silver i'm just like let's do it let me know which one you guys would pick because i'm actually not yeah. sure a huge thank you again to nordstrom for partnering with me on this video i love all my pieces i'm you guys are gonna be seeing me wear these especially that those boots Ooh, just pray for the boots because they're about to get ran down to the ground we're not gonna do that but just know i'm gonna be wearing and you guys know when i love something i'm gonna wear it i don't care when i love something it shows I wear the hell out of it so i'm really excited to wear these pieces i am a little shopping addict so this was just right on brand and right on trend for me so a huge thank you again to nordstrom for partnering with me on this video to show you guys these pieces let me know what you guys thought about the pieces let me know what your favorite item is i'm also really glad that the first fashion video i came back with after going on a hiatus from these type of videos is in partnership with nordstrom i love that for us so um, that makes me really really excited and very very grateful and I just feel like it just it, it, it just aligned perfectly because I was gonna do a video like this anyways if you enjoyed this video and you're not subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button down below let me know what else you'd like to see on my channel and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that I can see that y'all really like this video and that's that I'm really excited I can't wait to go style these pieces but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye girl